We're back with Michael, Michael, and John from Grasshopper Lawns in Larksville. Great to see you guys back in studio with us. Nice seeing Thanks you. Nice to be back. Well, our lawns are in need of some care, so that's where you come in. Today we're talking about the correct way to mow the lawn in terms of how high the grass should be and then how to properly water the lawn. So there's a right way to mow the lawn, huh? <laughs> yeah, there Who certainly is. If I hop on the mower, you push it. And, and you cut it as low as you can, so you don't have to cut it next week, right? I would think. No. no. Okay, I'm wrong. Absolutely, Absolutely not. <laughs> my, my favorite way to explain it, so Haley, you get, you get your hair cut, obviously. Mm -hmm. You don't go get a buzz cut. This is a great right? way to explain it. <laughs> this makes so much your, sense already. You get your split <laughs> ends trimmed off. Yes. That's all you're doing. You just want to take the top huh. quarter of an inch off at a time. Where did that come from? I don't know. I just always thought about That's that. That's a great analogy, I though, know coming is. from a guy with a buzz cut. See that? i got to right. say, my dad's been doing it wrong, though, because he always tries to get it down so low. So what is he supposed to do? How much <laughs> is he supposed to leave? You're only supposed to cut uh, uh, three quarters of an inch off. Okay. Okay. But you should be mowing your lawn at three inches tall. Three oh. inches tall. Yeah. That's wow. Well, the higher the top is, the longer the roots grow. So it's okay. going to be healthier. If you cut it short, that's going to shorten up too. And it's going to stress it out in the summer. And you'll get crabgrass and other problems, oh. even though you're doing treatments, if you don't mow correctly. Hmm. So you want to yeah, make sure you can actually go backwards on what we're doing for you. If you don't mow it properly, you could actually hurt it. Right. So, yeah, where do you guys come in in terms of the lawn? You can um, fertilize it and get it all ready and healthy. Do you, when, what time of year do you guys get in and do that? Any time, really? Well, we're getting started on the fertilizers. As the lawn comes around with the mowing, we don't mow, but we can give you good advice and tips on what you should be doing as a homeowner culturally to work with us. Mm -hmm. And we do that with all of our customers. We educate them on, you know, the proper mowing height. And, and, and another thing, a lot of people like to mow their lawn every Friday. Well, that's not necessarily the best way to do it. Really? If you have a service that works, it has to work that way, I get it. But like at my house, I mow my lawn every, every four days. What? Or every four days. That is so you mow it when you need it. You're only trimming a little bit it. off. That's right. I love it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, I don't healthy. Catch, you don't catch the clippings. Right. Let the clippings lay. You don't even see really? them. Really? Because we're doing it every four okay. days. I mean, it's, it's nice to be out there on your mower and you're driving around and it's a big lawn and it's, it's, it's fun. Which mm. not collecting the clippings is another good uh, tip. That's, that's all your nutrients and everything well, going right back into yep. the yeah, yeah, additional good. fertilizer that you already have. And it's not accumulating thatch because that's just going to break down and disintegrate, decompose. It's mainly water. So as long as you mm. don't see the clippings when you mow, they're breaking down naturally. You get an extra fertilizer. It's not going to contribute to a thatch problem, so a lot of people ask about that as well. Okay, wow, very interesting stuff. Now, in the summer months, if we have, you know, a rainy summer like we've been having the past couple of years, are you going to have to mow that lawn more? And then compared to, you know, if we don't have a rainy summer, mow it less? Or you still always try to do the four times, four, once every four days? We still try to do once every four days. Uh, it has been a challenge the past couple of years with all the rain we've had. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we had to go five, six days because of, scheduling or whatever but uh it's we're always trying to do that four days because it always looks mowed at that point yeah you know and it, and it and looks uniform and we get the nice striping in it i was just going to say that <laughs> i love when you like i drive around i see the nice striping oh, and the yeah. beautiful green lawns so nice so if people want to reach out to you get some more tips and ideas and get some of your services how can they do so grasshopperlawns.com or one eight 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 call grasshopper all right, perfect. You can just Google that and find it online. Guys, thanks for coming in today. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we'll see you next time.